welcome back to my channel. I'm the Lady Panda, a cozy and variety game streamer, and today we're going to talk about the newest update on Palea 0.173 and all of the patch notes that came attached to it. But first, I want to show off my merch. Check out this adorable little panda flipping you off. Isn't it cute? You can get it at my Stream Elements store, which is linked down below in my description. Also, this wonderful video is brought to you by G Portal. If you're looking for servers for your survival games like Rust, um, the older versions of Ark, Minecraft, or even Court Keeper, which you can look out for a series on that on my YouTube soon, please check out my link through G Portal to get the best value for renting servers, as well as 24 seven customer service. Thank you G Portal for being a proud sponsor of the Little Lady Panda channel. Let's get right into it. All right, here we go. First and foremost, I changed my hairstyle yet again. Thank you so much for the update, Palea, to be able to change your style once a week through Jell's store. I really love it. I do. I go in there once a week. I'm like, oh, it's time to change my, my, out, my hair again. And I go in and I change either my hair color or my hairstyle. And I really, really love the flexibility of that now. Um, so the very, very first thing that we are so excited about for 0 0.173 is a new NPC. This is the very first new NPC being added to the game since the game's early access release, um, alpha and beta. Um, her name is Subira. Subira is a mysterious watcher from the Order. As you can see, she is beautiful. She is wizened. She is a mature woman. She is currently not romanceable, but they said not romanceable yet. Um, but she is a limited time uh, character, or she has a limited time quest line. You do have to finish... Um, prove your devotion and prove your pur purpose and prove your generosity. Um, you have to finish those three quest lines before you can do um, Subira's quest line. So make sure you have those done before. They will be uh, they will be available through Evergreen, uh, which means like they'll be added differently into the game so that if you end up doing this out of order, or you try to do Sabira's and you haven't done those three, it'll organically move you to do those three before you can do Subira's um, quest line. Uh, with uh, the addition of a new NPC, we're getting two air new areas. Number one is Subira's room, which will be at the inn. And um, the other is a special quest area. They haven't told us where it is or what it looks like. It's a secret until you unlock it. And I'm really excited to do that. Along with Subira coming to um, uh, Palea, to Bahari Bay and Kilima, well, I think she'll only be in Kilima, to be honest. We will also get a new furniture set, which will be showcased in her room at the inn, and they can all be unlocked through Subira's quest line. There are nine pieces. It is called The Order, and I love the dark tones, like the dark blues of it, and it's very um, sophisticated. It's I think it's beautiful, and I'm really, really excited to unlock those. And something that we've been asking for a long time is the ability to interact with our furniture. And we're getting yet another way to do that with the addition of the ability to sit. We can now sit not only in the furniture in our homes, but in any area that looks like a seatable furniture around uh, Palea. So the benches in, um, in Kilima, maybe some areas in Bahari Bay. Where could you sit in Bahari Bay? I can't think of any furniture in Bahari Bay where you could sit. There's like no chairs there or benches. But I know there are some in Kilima, like right behind uh, Gel Shop. There's a little like seating area that's really cute. You'll be able to utilize that maybe for photo shoots or something. I don't know. It'd be really cute. Um, next, in Bahari Bay only, 
we are getting flow tree groves. Um, they they will appear in in amounts uh, as small as maybe two or three or bigger than that. You will see a glowing purple aura around it, letting you know this is a flow tree grove. And you and your friends can go hunt down those flow trees together. Um, along with the flow trees, we're also getting new beasties. They are called Mujins. Mujins look um, to me like foxes, but they do climb trees, so keep that in mind. Um, they can be found in dense foliage in Bahari Bay, so they won't be out in the open. They'll be in where like there's a, a lot of group of trees and possibly even in the flow tree grove, so keep an eye out for that. There are three types of Mujins. There's the regular Mujin, the banded Mujin, and the blue bristle uh, Mujin. And um, those are the rarities. So they go from regular to banded to blue bristle being the most uncommon one. Along with um, Mujins, all three different kinds, we get four new drops. We get Mujin meat, we get Mujin main, and those come from the regular Mujins. The banded Mujin has the added a, a rare drop of banded Mujin main, and then the blue bristle also has the ability to drop blue bristle Mujin main. Um, with this, these new creatures and new drops, we're getting two new hunting accomplishments. So that's gonna be fun. I'm assuming like hunt down a certain amount of legendary uh, blue bristle Mujins or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fun fact, chasing a Mujin into a flow tree causes them to rank up. So if you're chasing a regular Mujin and it goes into a flow tree grove or up a flow tree, it'll turn into a banded Mujin. If you're chasing a banded Mujin and it goes into a flow tree, it'll change into a blue bristle Mujin. They like rank up magically which is really really cool so i'm assuming blue bristles probably won't appear naturally as much you can work together with your friends that you're hunting with to chase the mujin into say a, a flow tree grove to make it level up so keep that in mind and get hunting speaking of hunting we are getting a hunting slider so it's a sensitivity slider that controls the speed of the camera movement I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work um, practically or logistically. I can't like figure it out. So I'm really excited to try it out and see what a difference it makes. I hope it's a positive difference. Um, I love hunting and I'm really, I'm, I'm a hit or miss. Like sometimes I'm really great at hunting and sometimes I'm really bad, like I miss every single shot. So I don't know if it'll make me a better hunter or a worse hunter, we'll see. Um, along with Subira's arrival, we're getting new furniture, like I mentioned, but we're also getting four new food recipes, cooking recipes, and they are all unlocked through Subira's arrival quest line. They are petite fives. I have no idea what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Um, oysters a quindu which is a seafood uh, platter, of course. Mujin Bahari, which has to do with the Mujin meat. And last, kanji, which is like a soup-like um, recipe. And like I said, all of them can be unlocked through Sabira's arrival, so that's pretty cool. Um, we are getting wallpapers. 20 new NPC-related wallpapers, and they will be um, showcasing the NPC's personalities um, and stories. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, goodbye pumpkins. I'm gonna miss them. I love the pumpkin decorations myself, but we're getting snow soon. So keep a lookout for that. Uh, did you know that your star quality ruined food can now be placed? That's right. Take a look here. If you ruin your star quality food, you can now place it as decoration. I don't know why you would want to do that. Well, I don't want to do that. But if you wanted to, now you can. <laughs> uh, there has been a new adjustment to the workbench. When you um, finish crafting something and you exit out of the workbench, when you when you click on it again to craft more, it will auto um, auto return back to the last recipe you you crafted. That can either be a really good thing if you forgot, oh, I need to craft five more of those. Let me go back in. Or it could be a really bad thing because what if you're scrolling, like you, you want to go back to, 
you want to go, you just finished furniture. So it's at the bottom of furniture and you need to go for a weapon. Now you have to scroll all the way up or something like that. I don't know. I think it's good, but it might also be a little annoying to get used to. But once you get used to it, I think it's going to be great. Uh, there has been a new adjustment to star stones with every new update, every new item, um, there, there is an adjustment period where the developers have to look at the economy and how this new item affects it. With star stones, there were some root, some stones that were too expensive to sell. So they were affecting the economy in a certain, ex to a certain extent. Um, so they have lowered the adjustments for Ruby, Amethyst, and Sapphire. So previously Ruby was 8,000, um, and now they've been lowered to 4,000. What is our currency? I forgot what our currency is called. Hold on, I'm having a brain fart. What is our currency? Um, gold coins. How could I forget that? Um, so it went from 8,000 gold coins to 4,000 gold coins for Ruby. So that's been cut in half. Amethyst is going from 3,000 to 2,000 gold coins and sapphires being lowered from 2000 to 1500. So there isn't a huge adjustment for amethyst and sapphire, but ruby is getting split right in half. So keep that in mind. Um, you're, if you're watching this, it, this out update has already come out probably. So you don't have time to sell those before the update. Um, but if for whatever reason, you can, you should. <laughs> and last but absolutely not least, we are getting new premium store items. I don't know about you, but I love getting new premium store items with every update. Um, first and foremost, the part I'm most excited about is premium glider skins. I always have exactly 425 Paleo coins left over after I purchase a, an outfit. So I'm going to be using my 425 for my premium glider skins and matching them to my outfits. As you can see here, there's going to be several uh, premium glider skins available and they will be 425 Paleo coins each. Um, we're getting three new premium outfits. There's the Royal Strategist, and I do love the little pleated skirts for the Royal Strategist. I think that's really, really cute. Um, next up, we have the Street Skater, and how adorable is it that they have a skateboard on their back? I think that's a really cute little accent. And last but not least, the River Guardian with all those ribbons on the arms and the forehead. I think that's really cute. Um, are you looking forward to any of these three outfits? If you are, please comment down below and tell me which one you'll be getting. Don't forget, um, Paleo devs work really, really hard on this game and it is a free to play game all over the world. So if you can spend a little bit of money to purchase a premium outfit to support Paleo, it, it does go a long way and we, and I'm sure they appreciate that. Um, that is it for 0 0.173 update patch notes. I hope you had as much fun as I did checking out the patch notes and I am super looking forward to Sabira's arrival in Kilima. I will be streaming this game live on my channel on Twitch. Make sure you check that out. All of my uh, links are down below in the description. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it and you love being informed about paleo things, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell to be on, um, to be, what is the word I'm looking for? to be notified when I drop a new video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Don't forget you are valid, you're loved, you're incredible, you got a fat ass and you deserve all the pizza in the world. Have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye.